Manor. 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 MRT. What? No longer Manor this year, I believe. Yeah, I believe MRT Mercedes. I don't know. There's uh <laughs> They really want to distance themselves from that Manor name. <laughs> no, no. I think I think there's uh, a little bit more to it than that. It goes back to Mr. Ecclestone. Okay. So I think um, Manor, they changed their name to MRT Mercedes, I believe. This is, this is speculation, but what the... F- <laughs> I accidentally made a phone call on my telephone just now by, with my <laughs> with my elbow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think they're called the MRT Mercedes this year. Okay. Um, it's kind of weird. I think there was sort of like a hint that I read that Manor was kind of forced or asked or coerced by Bernie mm-hmm. to change their name to MRT, to the abbreviation. Because for some reason, there was some sort of story swirling around that he doesn't like teams without a lot of heritage to have a proper name. <laughs> Which is why. Do you remember there was, what I think in... Ridiculous thing to say. Yeah. I believe, I, I forget if it was 2009 or the 10. The ramblings of a madman. <laughs> yeah. There were, there were the, the two new teams joined around 2009, 10, 11, in around their Caterham and Hispania racing team. Hispania came back as HRT. Right. Right. And I believe there was pressure, but they didn't succumb to it to rename Caterham to CRT or CHT or something like that. What? Yeah. So I, I believe this is what happened to Manor. They have a new logo. Um, it's somewhere in that show links if you want to pull it up, which kind of leaked early, but apparently on February 22nd, they're going to sort of like release their whole new brand slash car slash logo slash everything. What? And also like last week we talked about for our, um, them taking from Ferrari, Ferrari's chief aerodynamicist, chief aero director. And now Pat Fry, we have news this week, right? Who was, I think, expelled from Ferrari is a little different. He wasn't <laughs> taken from Ferrari. <laughs> Pat he Fry, came from man. Pat Fry came from Ferrari, but I, uh, I believe there he was. I don't know, kicked out or something. Well, Pat, basically, they didn't know they didn't know what to do with Pat Fry. All right, did you ship him to Manor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he that's was. Ba- as, that's as good a demotion as you've ever whoa, seen in whoa. life. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ, what are you doing, man? I don't know. You know, kinds of it's too many, Jesus Christ. too many Any- computers and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, okay, but um, <laughs> Pat Fry though, he was, you know, that he he basically was brought um to Ferrari by Alonso. <laughs> He's, by Alonso? Yeah, it's 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 what originally. He, yeah, he was. Oh, okay. He was in McLaren, right? Um, the thing is that okay, so uh, let me just uh, show you here. So this is this is Pat Fry. Uh, it's highlighted right now. Yeah, I, I know his face. He's got. Yeah, he, but let's put it on the screen, man. Yeah, let's pull him up. <laughs> Google up, Google up, Pat Fry. He he kind of looks. I like, already got it. He looks a bit like uh, Arriva Bene, a little bit. <laughs> he's got the sort of the, the greasy slicked hair. He, he's got he's got an uh, he's got an under. Aside bite. from the glasses, nothing, nothing to do with that. But he's got a bit. He's he's he looks like an uncle. He's got he's the that, same that, that's, that, yeah, that's somebody. So that's that guy's somebody's uncle, right? <laughs> Over here to the right. Yeah, yeah, some other guy's that's uncle. him on the right side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was brought, like I said, he was brought into Ferrari uh, by Alonso when Alonso basically, when when Alonso came to Ferrari, he was given the same kind of terms that uh, Michael Schumacher was in, in kind of similar terms, uh, yeah. where basically like come to Ferrari. Name your price. Um, bring, like, bring whomever. Who do you want? Like, who who from the grid do you think that you're gonna be working with? And uh, Alonso had just come from McLaren, where uh, Pat Fry worked at. So now Pat Fry, the thing about it is that like he's he was he was supposed to be he was supposed to be a design genius, the design genius um, <laughs> that worked, for example, on this um, uh, car. The uh, it, actually several McLaren cars that were almost title winners, not as ne- not 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 necessarily there, but they were 
in the race. Like, look at this one. Do you remember that? You remember this car? That was when Juan okay, Pablo yeah. Montoya, Montoya was, yeah, yeah, when Montoya was in, in his McLaren years with the uh, waviness, the wavy cars. His teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Some say that right. the best years of Raikkonen was when he was driving this car, and this car looks it looks it looks he mean, right? Young and hungry. You know, yeah. You know who he worked with though? Young and hungry. A, a McLaren designed this car. Um, Adrian Newey. So he was he was working with Adrian Newey designing this car. And now, uh, yeah, pull up pull up the that other uh, the second one. He also designed, or he was involved in the design team for. Remember this one, Louis Louis Scar. Yeah, I remember those the front <laughs> brake ducts. Yeah, you see those on the outside, Mike. You yeah. see us? Yeah, that looks insane. <laughs> <laughs> Outlawed. Yeah. yeah, and then Not a, no longer allowed. And then the next one over. Uh, that's uh, the other. Yeah, that that this crazy this city. this was cool. the ridiculous time. Yeah. No, no, I this like is when that. they went mad on wings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> around it's these years, mad on wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, anyway, but yeah, it was. So he he was involved in, in the design team of these cars. Now this is, they had so much downforce, they had to add those grooves in the tire to limit the downforce yeah because it was a to limit the grip on the to limit the grip on the car because the wing look at the wings <laughs> just look, look at that look it, it could probably wing. take off yeah yeah <laughs> so are these ridiculous. like are these, these those like, are wings inside wings inside wings man and they, they're yeah. just like kind of like sitting on on the sides <laughs> yeah it's all it's probably all one piece of how do they not carbon generate fiber lift that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, it's, Those are turning push, veins. They I know. Put, I, I understand that, but it no, looks these, like it could take off. The, these cars at their normal uh, driving speed, if they had full slicks on, would get glued to the to to the floor, man. The car, yeah, these cars could drive upside down. The cars now could as well. What the fuck? Yeah. The cars now could as well, but these, <laughs> these could probably do it slower. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a total ridiculous time. But anyway, yeah, Mr. Fry. Um, so Pat Fry, I think I think some people, uh, because he worked with these cars and they were like they were so they were, they were this man. Mm -hmm. Uh, people thought, oh, he must be <laughs> some sort of design genius in the same way that uh people thought that Nui must be some sort of a design genius. So uh, Nui uh Nui went to Red Bull. <laughs> To create uh, four, four world championships. world championship cars, and Bafrai went to Ferrari to create four <laughs> sub to ruin Fernando sub Alonso's career. Cars. <laughs> so yeah, he's he's uh, when Alonso left Ferrari, he clearly like had no more need for Pat Fry, obviously. So he 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 didn't like you know he it's not like he brought him back to my to McLaren. Um, Pat, Pat Fry stayed at Ferrari, and I guess he's he's still a smart guy. Like he still can, you smart know, smart enough for manner. He's, he's smart enough. <laughs> Sorry for, for MRT, yeah. and McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's his new, that's his deal. That's the, that's the, that's where he comes from. So, just to uh, an addendum to that story, today at testing, or I guess yesterday, <clears throat> there a man named Jacques Clear. Remember we talked a couple weeks ago about there was some sort of controversy about. Uh, engineers moving around and stealing some usb sticks full of data <laughs> yeah so this man named jacques clear moved to ferrari this year from mercedes and uh, he was in 2013 and 14 was lewis hamilton's personal performance engineer so i assume each driver has their own performance engineer and they work directly with each driver so uh, nico would have his own mm -hmm. but uh because they don't like to share Right, but this one, this guy wasn't exactly stolen as, I guess, traded. He's an engineer to Ferrari, but he was forced by Mercedes mm -hmm. to... He was paid, but he served the 2015 years year on a gardening leave. A gardening leave? Yeah, they let him go for... Uh, he said he was going to go home and garden so that he could... To limit the amount of data he could take to Ferrari from Mercedes about right. their car. So, yeah, that's the whole, the whole circle, I guess. And... Uh, Manners got Pat Fry and another Ferrari dude, the chief aero guy we talked about last week. There's a whole restructuring, and, th and this started obviously with the leaving of um, uh, Graham Lowden and John Booth. Right. Uh, number one and number two. Yeah, or yeah, number number two and number one. Actually. You, you got to wonder now if there was whole all planned to begin with, if they had other jobs lined up, or if they 
made no they gave notice of their resignation i don't I, think they just like said fuck you guys we're leaving now no those guys were those guys are fighters i don't yeah i don't think they're gonna they're gonna go down so easily mm. yeah. i think i think they, they might come back to f1 just not necessarily next year maybe maybe a couple of years down the line it's the same way that gunther did with Haas. gunther was out of f1 for a couple of years and then he came back yeah right. yeah and as far as manners driver lineup mm-hmm. We know now they've signed Rio Harianto. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his money lined up. He's got his money locked down. And uh, he's ready to make the jump, I so guess. He's Malaysian, right? He's going to be fly- uh, He's gonna be racing on the Malaysian. Indonesia. 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 Sorry, Indonesia. sorry, sorry. Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. He actually, World's most popular is, uh, Muslim country. It is true. I, yeah. I would assume from that fact that he is Muslim and one of the first he is he is he's the first modern Muslim he's got he's got the uh, when he races now in his Formula 3 car he has a verse from the Quran like on 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 his cockpit like in his cockpit yeah (laughs) true so there you go he actually he's been racing for a virgin and Marusha since 2010 I think GP3 newest teammates with um, what's his name Max Chilton Max Chilton, when he drove for Marusha and actually participated in a young driver's test in 2012. So he's he's had his super license. Mm-hmm. You need part one of the big requirements to get a super license is to have 300 kilometers in the F1 car, I believe, which he's got okay. from a practice day. Yeah. So he's ready to go. He's ready to race. I guess he's going to be at so who's gonna be his teammate? That, do you know? I don't even know if it's 100%. Is it Rossi? Like, are we still talking about Rossi? Like, I think, maybe coming... I think Rossi is may, up in the air between Rossi... Mary, he's, Mary won't be driving. Of course not. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's not Mary. But and, 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 and British folk out there, it's not going to be Will Stevens. Trust me. Will Stevens wasn't that great. I don't think it as was. As much as you want to say that he was maybe a little great. No, he wasn't. He wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be Rossi because... Well, I don't know. The, now the Austin, Austin, Grand, Austin Grand Prix is up in the air, right? It's a lot of bad news from America again. I think, okay, Bernie was quoted as saying that if he, like, if he had any like worries about uh, the U.S. Grand Prix making it back, and he said no, he he was basically like, yeah, we're we're gonna, we're going to Austin this year. Yeah. And I, so I think I think it's in at least in you know secret negotiations or whatever like stuff that's not being publicly disclosed yet it's a fact the the u.s grand prix is happening it j- they just can't announce it probably to ward off some uh creditors mm. or <laughs> evil spirits <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um we're still on for Baku, though, right? Like, Baku's still happening, even though, like, now Azerbaijan is going through a huge crisis because of the oil price. Let's come back because there's a bunch of races up in the air. Let's, <laughs> do, let's do a topic about this. Cool. Yeah. Rio Hariante. Right. Segway. Baku. So. It's. It's. Okay. It's. The country right now. Is suffering immensely. The, the, Azerbaijan. Yeah, Azerbaijan. Yeah. Even though they had a lot of money, like enough money to like pretend to be Europe, <laughs> Europe, <laughs> Hosting the European Grand Prix and the European, uh, um, the European Games or whatever earlier last year. Um, now it seems like the money taps are kind of <laughs> being closed down because oil is so cheap, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you got you got Saudi Arabia like a demented animal just <laughs> pumping the black stuff all over the world like it was nothing like it was fucking toilet paper yeah just just don't worry about it we got oil take a like, few have it. take have a few it. extra rolls have it. it doesn't matter <laughs> what's what's your niece's name yeah yeah she can have a barrel you know what i mean so that has driven the price of oil now to the lowest it has been since maybe the post-war era maybe the cold war right at least uh, 2002 or so. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like 28 bucks or something. It depends it's, what type. So I, don't, I don't fully understand, but I, I vaguely do about like the barrack. Or, sorry, not barrack. That's gold. 
like the Brent crude oh, and, the, and the West Texas intermediate and the the whatever Eastern sweet crude or all that kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's, I guess there's variances in what you can distill from each type of. No, no, no. Those are those are just trading indices. Uh, they, like uh, the, just the West, the, the West re- Texas regionalized names i guess the market the market it's it, they're, they're talking about like the market where it's being traded so even though for example west texas is no longer like in the global scale uh a significant oil producer like they're like they, yeah they have oil, they, they have oil they produce but they keep a lot of it i think now either, either either way it's not u.s energy independence it's it's not as big as venezuela for example it's not as big as as uh even it's not it's uh, like West Texas yeah. is not as big as Azerbaijan, for example, in terms of oil production. Um, right. But it's still one of the principal places where oil gets traded, and that says the industry. And there's a, there's a few other uh, other places that that kind of like send the price. But either way, what whatever whatever it is, it's so low right now that the country of Azerbaijan, because its economy was primarily fueled by <laughs> ironically oil so export. fuel. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, like <laughs> really, uh, they're now they're now in in a bind. They they're they're a dead ridden country, quickly quickly spiraling out of control. By the time that we make it there, who knows what's like? Who knows how the country is gonna be? Man, there could be an uprising by the time that we're in Baku. Hilarious. <laughs> I tweeted I tweeted this picture the other day, which is two things on on the same day, basically. Azerbaijan made a public assurance through the world media that yeah. they have the money. The race is going to happen. Don't worry about it. Yeah. This is the European Grand Prix. It's happening. And at the same time, what people were fearing and what kind of, uh, at least like Nico Hockenberg was pissed off about, he couldn't race in the Le Mans race because it would be interfering. It's on the same weekend. It's still, it's still the same day. Right. But. Um, He's not going to be able to. The schedu- Nobody, the, no F1 drivers are going to be able to. The scheduling is as such that the qualifying is supposed to be ending before the race starts. And the race is supposed to start after the checkered flag of the Le Mans race. So the Baku race is supposed to start... And yeah, as, as we had speculated, Nico Hulkenberg is not going to be no, able he's to not fly. Gonna, he's not going to fly from, from no. Paris. Or, yeah, yeah you we know, need from those France virgin, to, virgin yeah. space planes. <laughs> but... This is the main the main point I had at least with this tweet. This is the Maidens Tower. That's the old old walled city of Azerbaijan. Uh, we speculated la- earlier in the year, at least, that perhaps Abu Dhabi had some sort of lockdown on sunset races since it was a badass right. idea and there was right. theirs was the only one. Apparently not. Baku, Azerbaijan, is going to be a sunset race. Huh. Oh. It's starting. Yeah, it's starting at sunset and complete finishing in the dark the track's gonna be lit so that's wow. gonna be cool. that's gonna that's be some cool. that's, that's gonna, gonna be, be kind of badass it's gonna be local time for us too we can do we can we can watch this one live oh yeah it's probably close to 10 hours 10 11 hours uh 10 hours uh, well it'll time be difference like, but yeah it should be we should be able to nice i yes. think so baddies, baddies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be very late in europe so it should be midday for us but yeah the point the point of it and who knows if that had to, was originally the plan, but was is to start the race after Le Mans finishes. Oh, and look badass! Doesn't that look cool? That's yeah. that's like their city square outside the that Maiden's Tower is like four hundred years old or something. Holy shit! It looks over the whole city. Fair Maiden. That's pretty cool. That is pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Other courses. So Austin. I mean, we, we know we know that. Okay, I I want to say. <laughs> primarily because i want to go but i want to say austin is still on the calendar um yeah I these guys so. bernie says it's happening these guys have you know they, they probably already paid for everything so the the local crisis is not affecting them Circuit this of the year no uh, back oh, to yeah, because they, they probably already have like all the contracts in place everything is already being paid for at least partly at least half a year yeah. ago when we first or, or, or at least First part point. of it, whatever whatever advanced deposits they needed on the fucking equipment and everything else, right. that's that's already been taken care of. So the race is happening this year. Future of that race still up in the air, still waiting to see what happens. If World War if World War Three starts uh, in 2016, obviously this is not gonna happen. Right next time. <laughs> I mean, maybe the year after. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Wars are uh, pretty quick these days. What what else? Okay, are, are we still talking about Monza being shit off the calendar? No. Nope. But we are talking about Spa I told you, being shut off I the calendar. I told you the Italians. The Italians are not gonna let Monza, and mm-hmm. it's it's kind okay, of like the only like gun that Bernie has. Like if if 
if they if the Italians don't want to pay, Bernie can be like, all right, we'll take you off the contract, and then they will pay because there's no way Ferrari will not have a home race. Mm. Uh, basically, today, about uh, I don't know, a handful of hours ago, this news came out. The contract for the Italian Grand Prix is set to be signed the final weekend of February. Okay, so I guess, up. or maybe the second, the, at, at the end of February, probably just before testing. And uh, from the details I read, remember it when it was it, when they were at the race in Italy this year, Bernie was saying, this is never happening again. Nobody's here. <laughs> nobody cares. This, they need new facilities and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So apparently Italy, the government committed to some sort of facilities or track upgrade. And that... Um, Basically, there's two contracts on the table, a four-year and a seven-year. So basically taking Monza to 2020 or 2023. And originally, Bernie wanted, I have the numbers, $28 million for hosting fees. And it allegedly, apparently from the news, has been negotiated down to about 20, which is closer to what Spa and Spain pay for their hosting. Hmm. But going on off of that, or l- 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 let's look at... Uh, that other tweet first, since we're talking about Monza right now. There's been a proposal, the first Huerva Grande, to be <laughs> grande. to Cur- be Curva repaved grande. into an ex pista Pirelli with a two and a half meter tall chicane at the end of it to bypass that corner. That was a track. That that's that's what that means. That was that, that was like an old Pirelli track that went like that. That was uh, yeah. That was a section of track that was used for tire testing. You see okay, the no, sh- you see the sharp corner on the right that curved. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. It, it, it went like that, and Whoa. then connected back to the original loop like that. Right down here. That was that was original. Oh shit! Yeah. I looked up Look the history that. of this. Yeah. That was used for uh, tire test tire testing. That's why it's called the Pirelli. Track. Right, exactly. So the idea is to repave that. With that two and a half meter tall, or like a ten feet, ten foot tall chicane at the end of it, and reconnect to the Huerva Grande, which is one of the fastest corners in F1. Curva, wow. Curva Grande. Curva Grande. Yeah. But from what I read, apparently, the way that this track works is it used to be like a ridiculous. It's called the Temple of Speed. It used to be ridiculously fast. But if you look at the map in the bottom left, those chicanes, at least the first one there, never used to be there. Right. It used to be one big straight. So when motorcycles and endurance cars race here, they have to go through that chicane, and yeah. it's really tight, like kind of yeah, too yeah, tight yeah, yeah. for motorcycles to do that. Get a good lean on. Yeah. So the idea of this chicane for motorcycles and uh, endurance cars and certain other cars is to eliminate that first chicane, go straight through. Yeah, right there. Right, okay. Go straight through and then force them through the second chicane to slow them down before you get to the the second straight right, so you're not going okay. 400 by the time you reach right, the second okay. the third you came yeah like, that's insane right but there was also some quotes from um vettel that in the ferrari simulator they have this modeled already and he's driven it a whole shitload of times <laughs> yeah so who knows and that might be part of the deal that um bernie negotiated with monza and in and the country of italy to host this race Yo. is add something tailkey like, designed like, like, like you said that they'll, they'll be a perfect spot for a joker lap <laughs> yeah the joker <laughs> lap remember we were talking <laughs> yeah we're talking about <laughs> the uh rally x yeah it were rally cross yeah rally cross. Well, x cross whatever you know. um i lost a little one <laughs> <laughs> what did you lose uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't pen lid. But yeah, I don't have I don't advocate okay, throw uh, some joker laps in F one, yeah, man. Yeah. You just put the you just paint that line like the pit lap where you come out of the pits, <laughs> you stay in there, everyone sees you coming in. Leave it safe. leave it like this. Don't even bother paving that. Just, just <laughs> it's like it. off road. <laughs> yeah. well, it's like the secret it's like the secret path in I, any Mario Kart. I actually level. really like yeah. come on. I know that it, that it, it's one of those like pipe dreams that will never happen, but I would love to see modern f1 cars just tearing it down the banking <laughs> like the old monza banking pull, 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 pull a, up a picture at least on a just, demonstration. Just, just look up monza banking at least on a demonstration banking. especially since they yeah. repaved it they repaved yeah. it two years ago why like, why did they that, repave it that, yeah. that would be oh so sweet God. <laughs> this you know? is insane <laughs> yeah yeah that was it's the like that's the old surfing. course that's the old course <laughs> yeah Oh, like look at that! What? That's yeah. like two stories. <laughs> yeah. It was ridiculous. Is the 
probably inspiration and, for modern NASCAR. And and if you originally. went like if you lost control of your car and while well, you were like you know at high speed around this and you could you could reach some you high can see speed. some skid marks there yeah. look on the right side somebody lost control a few times the, the thing about it is like it's so unsafe because so let's say you lost control over here yeah. you'd keep sliding at the top to keep the momentum right oh, so like no. you'd be on somebody else's racing line and then all of a sudden you'd like cross down because of gravity so you'd get be like right in the middle of cars passing Oh it was super dangerous, was but come on, it looks look at so that. Cool. Look at that. It's like those. Uh, ever see like those old uh, either YouTube videos or gifs, and it was like these people like almost like in a barrel, and it was like motorcycles. Or, oh like, yeah, there was like bears at, at the on circus. At the circus, <laughs> yeah. I've seen I've seen that in real life. Yeah, me too. What? More than once. Yeah. Oh yeah. Driving around inside a steel ball. Yeah. 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 They need more of that. Two and three motorcycles. <laughs> they they look up no, and man, grab this hands. Is, this, the, the, like these kind of pictures were the inspiration for something like a about freaking speed racer. The overhead, the the helicopter picture there. There you go. You can see. The, originally, they had a the big loop, and then they're just like nah. Yeah, yeah. like they're, it went like that though. Like it, 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 okay. So they went up there, and then this. Yeah, they went, went kind of like, like oh yeah. Whoa. They went on the inside, then the outside, like, yeah, like, almost like a figure eight across the over. Fuck, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. Really that would cool. really it was change really, really cool. a race. Oh man, and it, on top of like like Monza is already one of the longest tracks. Yeah. Make no mistake, the the shape is quite. It's it looks simple, but it's still huge. Yeah. So making it like this would put it in like freaking. Um, like almost uh, Silverstone territory, probably, Spa, so. like, yeah, yeah, clo closer or even uh, longer than Silverstone. But it would just be like, look at this. This would just be speed. Like, like yeah. whoever can get around this the fastest. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> if, if you ask me. <laughs> hey, you just throw some sprinklers on the side. You got a whole different race. <laughs> come on, Bernie. Yeah, look, look at that bridge. No, no, come on, come on, come on uh, to the right there. It's like it's basically vertical. That's a wall. Yeah. No, but the, there were cars here, man. Boom. And if you look two to the left, that's how it looked very recently. Two photos to the left of that, above, right to the right one. Nope. Nope. Be Sorry. Right below that. Yeah. That's how it looked very recently. In With moss. Yeah, but they they got Jesus money together Christ. and repaved no, the whole click, thing. Click that again. Click that again. In the, about <laughs> two years ago, I think they oh, repaved. Oh no, never mind. I don't even know what happened. I think it showed a picture of Lewis going down the banking. He got to but drive. Remember, he got to drive it with Sterling Moss or something. Yeah, yeah, Sterling Moss's car. Yeah. They would yeah. never put something like this in F one. <sighs> you know, because they're pussies. Not anymore. There's a fucking. There's we, we we are living right now in an era of the great pussification of the world. The world, man. <laughs> Everything's got to be fucking. I saw a great argument the other day. It was a photograph from the late fifties or early sixties of Monza, and then compared to now and how it looks, safety. The, the overhead bridge is different. Sorry, sorry, not Monza. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Monaco. Yeah. But how dangerous it was. People standing on the side of the track, any of these photographs. Mm -hmm. And somebody's somebody's argument was, yeah, we've pu been pussified. <laughs> Nobody should have to die at a sporting event. But at the same time, that shit happens you don't regardless. have to stand beside the track. There's something yeah. called personal responsibility. You understand the risks of what yeah, you're doing guys. and accept them. Yeah. Guys, be smart. What did I say? He, yeah. yeah. One of the last, Be this, smart. this is why I love MMA so much. Yeah. I'm not going to get into it again, but this is one of the last vestiges of real fearlessness and ridiculousness is Absolutely. getting in a cage with a man and fight him until somebody falls asleep. Right. Until somebody's I mean, brain <laughs> turns off. That's, that's isn't like part of the reason why they get paid so much. Like these drivers get paid so much is that it is dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous right. and, it, well, and, and, it, and it requires enormous skill. Yeah. Right, enormous skill. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like pod racing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or building a Death Star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Looking at you, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised that when like if, if when Bernie dies and like like all his like like his carcass starts to like get eaten by worms, all you get <laughs> all you all, all that remains is something like that. <laughs> the Terminator head right there. <laughs> yeah. no, on your speaker. <laughs> <laughs> sticking on sticking on this topic though yeah. we still have for 2016 on the official calendar 21 races the That's concord so agreement weird, says 20 yeah you we talked about this a few months ago and you're adamant that you believe spa was next on the chopping block it was 
Yeah. I saw an article this it's week. It's so I couldn't sad, fi- I couldn't man. find a link, but why? It why might you, still be. Why would you compromise spa? Like, you can't. You have to take. <sighs> yeah. Spa yeah, is not a great a, place. Gotta take a deep breath. Yeah. yeah. Spa is the British. It's Belgian. No, Belgian. 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 Oh, Rouge, the big hill. Oh, it's, okay. it's, it's the it's longest of, track. It's, it's, the, it's over the last. Seven kilometers. It's the last vestiges of of old F1. I mean, even though the track has been changed and it's not as long as it used to be, it's still the longest. Still the longest one. So and it's, over it's still got some of the badassest corners in F1, and and the straights and just the just where they go, man. They go and race in the middle of the Ardennes forest. It's beautiful around there. It's not. It's only t- today. Mm. It's only for the fans. You don't go there. To host a business meeting like you would uh, w- with your sponsors yeah, like in, yeah, in Monaco, or oh, yeah, or oh, yeah, Mont- or Montreal or, like, or Monaco. You, yeah, you would. The, there's, there's no casino. Well, there is like a city. small casino, but it's like a casino like there would be in a small town. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Like a couple Some slots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, no spa. You go there because you go to race, mm. and it's a challenge for the drivers, and they love it because it's actually like one of the last true tracks. Everyone, almost everyone staying there is camping. But because. Right. There's no money in it. Mm. Yeah. Bernie wants to chop it off, and like there's there, that has to be stopped. Mm. And and if this is something that the manufacturers are gonna stop, like this this ridiculous, like wanting to wanting to get rid of like the actual important races in favor for whoever like the the the, the biggest bidder is, then I applaud that. Mm. You know what I mean? Then I'm on board, cause cause Spa needs to stay. The, the, it's, this shouldn't be a discuss. This shouldn't even be open to discussion. You know what I mean? That's what they said yeah. about the NHL Nordiques, uh, the Quebec Nordiques. Oh, really? And then they got chopped. Shit. But there's talks of bringing them back. So I feel it, it's just one of those. It wasn't like the most marketable team. Quebec uh, doesn't have a hockey team. Well, they have Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Uh, but they used to also have Quebec a provin- City, a provincial team. Oh, Quebec. City. Right, right. So yeah. they had, used to have two, and then they moved, I believe, to Colorado. Oh, crazy. and then they became Rockies. The, the Rockies, right? Um, Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh, I don't know fuck all about. Hockey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but yeah, but it was like one of those older teams that you're like, why would you get rid of this? Like, I know it's kind of the suffering, but I mean, like, the East Coast is like, like there's a lot of need and want for hockey, right? But there's just not a lot. If, if Bernie was in charge, teams. they'd have to change the name to the kn or the kh yeah. the kh <laughs> the quebec hockey team q qhd well there's there's talks now of adding like a las vegas well, team i'm saying it we have we have a similar bernie, San- K- uh, bernie sanders uh bernie ecclestone Q- in the uh Q-H-T. what qhd <laughs> <K-H-T>. um <laughs> there's there's there, there's an nhl bernie um <laughs> hilarious his name is kind of escaping me now but uh yeah, he's kind of he's, he was kind of a dick because there was a few lockouts in the NHL, yeah, right? And it was just kind of a lot of back and forth of bullshit. Yeah, and they actually uh, didn't play for a year. Yeah, or a two. year, and then uh, at, at another time, a few years later, for half a year. That is so weird. That yeah, see, it was see super that, weird. That that wouldn't happen in F one. That couldn't happen because mm-hmm. it, then it just it would be too unsustainable. That's a that's a point. That's what, and it's so fucked that for some of the negotiations and and why they've they've gone through with with Bernie and whatever is that F1 needs to carry on just for its sake it needs to happen if it doesn't happen then like if 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 so much as all, like if all the teams, for example, if all the teams, what is everybody in every feeder series racing for? If yeah, there's no Formula One. Exactly. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. GP two, GP three, no. Formula two, Formula three, Formula four. But just all, everything that Renault is at stake, three point five V eight challenge. There IndyCar. is just so much at stake that go karts. What are you if, racing if, a go kart for? There's if no all the teams e- missed even one race, the whole system would go the way of Dodo. You know what I mean? Like it would. Yeah. It's just it 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 would go belly up. Nothing would be sustainable. Like thereafter, the teams wouldn't make the money that they'd have to. The 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 promoters would get shafted, etc., etc., etc. It's so fucked. And but keeping F one going on just for the sake of it shouldn't be the primary motivator. I don't believe that's that's even a question because there's still many countries vying to hold a race. Argentina, 
Three days ago. Yeah, but if you ask me, I'm I'm of the opinion that there should be thirty races a year. Why not? Why not? But yeah. the teams don't want it. The teams don't want to. Fuck the teams. Tra- they don't want to travel that much. <laughs> well, yeah, you do more and more back to back. You get the time off. Everybody else works all, every, all year. You get like four weeks off or six weeks vacation. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's probably the world yeah, average. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, you want to keep your your month vacation. This no, no. Come on. It's, but imagine like traveling. Like no, so I like to travel as much as the next guy. Yeah. But like if I was traveling all the time like no set real circadian rhythm like i'm pretty sure that would take some sort of toll yeah. on me yeah, yeah that's that's what that. that's why you're in competitive sports <laughs> no <laughs> you, you know what i mean you like, no no you make a yeah. point absolutely <laughs> like you true. know you know no, you, it's sports people like you're doing something that that you the average human being normally wouldn't do and right. that's what's important that's why it matters right you you're looking at something extraordinary and if it has to be extraordinary to that degree, why not? Let it loose. <laughs> but That's my like, opinion. No, no. That, I mean, I think that makes sense. So, like, I, I understand what you're saying. And I, I would prefer more races. But in a sport that's clearly not at its highest point. Yeah. Uh, we're po- getting there. We're getting there. What we're getting th- there. What do you think we're doing here? Every, no. Hey, every no, this is why we're listen, here. I get listen, that. Listen, right it, would be, it would be simple. It would be very simple. Yeah, but that's more money that each team has to spend. Yeah. And then make it, the, the, then the, make it more, more appealing. Make it more available. Like that's that's why they're go they're peeling the banana the wrong way. Right. Listen, the, what they matter. need to do what they need to do is number one, make the sport more available. Number two, stop caring so much about distribution rights and, and, and all that. Just try to make money. You will make uh you will reach a million dollars quicker from getting one dollar a million times than a million dollars at once. once right you know what Absolutely. i mean like that's like if if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the u.s you know there's some great it line it be, could but... it's 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 the u.s or china mm-hmm. you know depending on how you measure it so the if, if, you, if you now. but if you stop thinking that the biggest consumer market in the world is the u.s or china and realize that the actual biggest consumer market in the world the way it is right now is the, the world. world yeah <laughs> then, <laughs> then that changes everything and mm-hmm. once once they finally get that and they finally realize that the marketing should be done on new media and and, and all this and, mm-hmm. and the sport should be like why aren't they, why aren't they promoting in africa is like Above, above, like beneath, I, I don't understand it. Mm. I don't understand why they're not making much of an effort. Man, there's companies right now, multinationals. That's their next goal. Especially next goal no races involved. It. The world champion is a black dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> but, but his breaking family it, originally came from Africa. Breaking it to Africa we is what Nestle is trying to do. Is what uh, Procter and Gamble is uh, are trying to do because there's, it's it's a market that, um, right now they've bypassed all the bullshit that. Uh, the Western world had to go through, like you know, yeah, uh, just like, like fixed, all the, like, fixed telephone lines, like you know, like bullshit, yeah, like all kinds of bullshit, it's, and and yeah, now it's actually everybody's awesome connecting. Them. They're gonna go boom. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of stories about like little villages. Like normally, you wanna you have like twenty goats. Mm-hmm. You wanna there's a village that way and a village that way. You don't know who's paying more for goats this week. Now they have cell phones. Yeah. You just text yeah. your buddy. Yo, how much you be, pay a guy. How much yo, go Tell me how much goats are every week. I'll pay you no, a buck. This, this, no, this is actually huge, that's, man. That's really? for real. It's yeah, gigantic. No, 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 no. Because hey. otherwise, you'd have to spend two days. This. You'd spend a day to go to that village and back, a day to go to that village and back. You can, and then if that you one can was make more study. paying more money, you go there with your goats the in, third, in, in the third in, day. In any like little regional market like this Done. in Africa, you can go and make this study. And we know because studies have been made. And as soon as like and like like you can see like so if you if you plot a if you plot a graph of like say the price of goats <laughs> right from day to day and like ha- mm-hmm. like ha- like uh, how much goats are going for it looks like that and then there comes a clear point where it stabilizes and that point is the introduction of the cell phone mm-hmm. cuz then yeah. cuz the communication makes it easy mm. and 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 openness and that is that is just it's it's happening everywhere. That's the way. Look around you. Look around everything. It's it's happening everywhere. That's the way the world is going. Mm-hmm. The idiots at the top just are too involved in the in the way it, things used to be to realize that that's what's happening. Right. I only say goats because you imagine the lowest opportunity person 
just trying to survive. Mm. They have cell phones now, and they can text to the next village. Yeah, like you can just it's either done. Just, even, like yeah. the idea of a smartphone. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just and they're, and and they're doing no, they're doing incredible incredible stuff. There's um, in Kenya, one of the biggest companies there. Look, we're one of the biggest startups and, and most exciting startups to come out from Kenya. It's a mobile payment company, a mobile payment company because it's so much easier for people to send money to each other over there mm-hmm. than it is here. Yeah, than it is here, man. Yeah. It's so intense. That's insane. Like you don't need to have a bank account. You need all you need to have is a cell phone to have like and and a cell phone now in Kenya provides you with the same like basic need or like you know takes care of the base the same basic needs that a bank would have over right. here. It's so incredible, man. Yeah, lots of stuff is happening there. Where's Formula One? <laughs> there, there was a South African race until the nineties, yeah. until the mid nineties. So let, let's look at two opportune markets. This week, three, four days ago, <clears throat> the Argentinian government made a big news oh, story I, I about love to see F1 back in wanting to go back to Buenos Aires. The last time they raced there in 1998. I'd love to go. I'd go. Like, man, I'd save the, all my money. All, like, I, I, would, I would go. Like, if, if there's an Argentinian Grand Prix, we should go. Yeah. The timing for this. I got my passport. No, no. It'll, it'll, <laughs> no, it's, it's going to, I know the Argentinians will make a big deal. <laughs> The, the timing for this is pretty apt because in uh, two weeks or three weeks, the for- two weeks I believe the Formula E race yeah. uh, will be in Buenos Aires, nice. not on the Formula One track in the yeah. downtown. Uh, they just announced or just elected a new president, Mauricio Marci, Macri, sorry, who appointed a new tourism minister named Gustavo Santos. Okay, whose mandate is to bring. Formula One, sick. The world, the World Cup, and any Ooh. other big events. They've already got Formula E for the past two years. Okay. To international Ar- events to Argentina. They want to get back. They want to get back on the map. They they were a big Formula One country for a while. Well, as far yeah, as well, where does Juan Manuel, Manuel Fangio comes from? Yeah. Juan Manuel, Juan Manuel Fangio, the first F one stars before there were. His record of five championships wasn't. Uh, like it, it, it wasn't beaten until Schumacher in the early 2000s. Like it was, it went from 1950s uh, to early 1960s till the 2000s before somebody broke um, Fangio's record. And like, where was Fangio from? He was from from Argentina. Argentina. The thing about Argentina in those days, though, is that Argentina was like, believe it or not, it was a first world country. Mm. Argentina is maybe the only country that we have in in recent history that has actually gone from first world all the way back to third world. But they used to have more money than Canada. Wow! Yeah, yeah. wow. There's a little bit of oppression. The <laughs> the, uh, the little war there. Yeah, down there. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't accidental. This this all happened like and and it was world politics and U.S. foreign policy was heavily involved in this. It was it was nasty. It was the the Brits kind of <laughs> fucked with their oil platforms yeah. in the ocean and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, but Argentina does have you know as much as uh, a name like Alfa Romeo has a claim for a historic and historic status mm. <laughs> in Formula One, so does Argentina. Mm. It does. Autodromo Oscar Alfredo Galvez. But it's that's not a very that's not a very interesting track, is it? Look it up. It's not very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure they'd have to modernize yeah, it. Same as any other. Yeah, they're, but they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna the bring Tilki in there, and Tilki's gonna tilk it to fucking boredom. <laughs> they might not change. Yeah, they might like, change the. Uh, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna change the pit lane. Yeah, it's it's pit it's pit small. Lane. That's the problem. It was but it has to be small. Yeah, yeah. Four point three kilometers on the GP circuit. <laughs> yeah, most wins in it are still Juan Manuel Fangio. <laughs> there you go, four wins. Most wins by constructor Williams at that track. Yeah. Another interesting, the final one I got. Yeah. Iran, Iran yeah. is pushing hard for F one race. And why not let them? They have. This is actually the second time I looked back. Uh, see if you can bring up Keshem Island, Q E S H M. On the uh, Google map. We'll look Q-U-S-H-M. at it. Q-U-S-H-M. But interesting. Island, Island yeah. Oh, Q-E-S-H-M. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. You yeah. So you can bring up the Google map page or something. There you okay. go. Change it to the satellite view. And then you can zoom out and see relative to Iran where the, uh, where the island is. It's in the very south. 
Very, very close to this track, Bahrain, Abu oh, Dhabi. Yeah. It's right, right across, right across the fucking strait. Yeah, right yeah. across from the, the UAE. Gulf. Yeah. The Abu Dhabi course, uh, the Bahrainian course is fairly close. So they want to build an F1 the track in, there? The Indian closest track is fairly close on this island, the QESHM island. I looked, I looked quite a bit at this island, and it seems there's a few towns, like smaller, not really a major city. There's an international airport on there. So I assume they want to develop this island a bunch, like, but, like, like but turn it into a resort island. This, yeah, this area around here is probably nice. Yeah, you know, I'm sure it, it looks yeah. like a little lagoon. Yeah, or, or it's a protected area. Yeah, yeah. but in- but I've heard that I've had that that have actually not not Iranians themselves, but people that have actually gone to Tehran. All all I've heard is that Tehran is actually supposed to be pretty cool. As far as the Middle East is concerned, I've heard that <laughs> Tehran is one of the best cities to go to. Yeah. The most progressive. Uh, the most things to do, the most whatever, the most. Can, in, in, in contrary to what you might believe, apparently boo- the booze is a flowing. It's it, <laughs> one thing that I read recently is that apparently Iran, for a country where booze is outlawed, it actually <laughs> they consume more booze there than like all of their neighbors, <laughs> 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 including Turkey and like the big ones, you know, <laughs> per. So, per- uh, exotic vehicles wait we but, have we, we have persian friends right yeah you know how over the top they are like they probably like yeah. i mean they, they would do it in a different way they do it in their own way they probably put like you know uh velvet Col- carpets everywhere like Cologne the, dispensers. Co- the, co- the, the color purple would be a prominent theme you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> louis vuitton would be like etched onto everything but they'll, <laughs> they'll do it they'll do, they'll do big they'll do it proper <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know in 2011 or just after september 7th they had a little bit of sanctions imposed on their country by oh, the world, that is so the world crazy. order. After, just after they, as well as announced building a Formula One track now on this island. The originally plan was near the near the capital, but I guess this island is their new uh, priority. They had also had some new elections, like Argentina. The vice president of Iran, Masoud Sotanifar. I think, <laughs> I think. I don't think they, it's the Iranians. It's just th- the assholes in Iran, like like most of those. Like yeah, situations. like like, every, like yeah, like everything. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. I think that just 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 by knowing, uh, like Persian people, <laughs> I know that they would do it big, and of course they are a crowd that is already like uh, soccer crazy. They are like they're they're actually if you look at pictures of Iran back in from the seventies, it looked more like Europe. Yeah, they look like us. Than, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're driving, like, walking around in jeans and stuff, and throwing footballs around. And that 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 still hasn't escaped them as much as like you know the with the new regime or whatever. It's like it's very, uh, very very Islamic, and you know they're the Islamic Republic and this and that, and like there's things that like you couldn't get away with now that you could before, mm-hmm. but. They're still Persian. I mean, never, you, know, you know what I mean? Right. They're I've not never Arabs, been, but I think they're Persian, and like they'll do it a Persian way. Yeah, I think there's still <laughs> stuff you can get away with either way. Yeah. I had a teacher in high school from uh, Iran, uh, and he was just like, "No, no, I'm Persian." Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was. Yeah.